We want to show you that the American spirit is still alive and well here at Freedom Farms. In May of 2020, my wife and I started building a 40 foot by 140 foot livestock barn for our first generation farm. By mid-July, we had the barn nearly complete, minus the metal siding that we were waiting on. Unfortunately, due to some supply and demand issues from COVID, we didn't receive the metal siding in time, and in August, we had severe storms that came through and took our barn down. However, we're cleaning up the mess right now and getting started on our new barn again. And words of encouragement, when we posted that video of all the damage that we got, that that really, man, he all made us feel so good. Um, we didn't have any idea that that many people would really care. Um, and we're a tiny farm in Missouri that nobody, very few people have heard of. And, uh, you know, that's the first thing I want to say in this video. Is thank you all for your kind comments, the likes on the video and everything. And you're right. We are going to build and we're going to build as soon as we get this cleaned up probably. Tractor's all right, it's just a little beat up. Tough old girl, a lot of weight. Man, I should have made super <laughs> You going first? Super okay, oh, it's a really big one where you have to make four in a row. Oh. Um, and it's the same, just you gotta make four in a row. Oh. 
<laughs> Thought I was gonna pull it off. I wasn't gonna tell him either. We're gonna try something new. Got a suggestion uh, in the comments before about doing a voiceover during some of the time lapses. So we're gonna try that. What we're gonna do is explain real quick. I didn't want to destroy the first 20 feet of the barn in order to get to the 50-20. However, I didn't have much of a choice because it needed to be accessible for the insurance adjuster when they showed up the next morning. The insurance adjuster came out, obviously, looked at everything, saw the barn was totaled. The tractor itself was actually not in bad shape, just had a dent, oh, a severe dent in the hood, and unfortunately that dent in the hood did puncture the radiator and had a pinhole leak. However, I was able to fix the radiator by soldering it. It worked out pretty well. It hasn't leaked since, so pretty happy about that because that tractor is very useful to us and hard to find another one. The other thing, the materials, we didn't want to see them go to waste. And the best thing to do in that case was we talked to one of our neighbors who wanted to build a hay barn. The trusses, six of the trusses did get damaged. Um, two of them were the end ones that we had to destroy to get to the tractor. One of them was already destroyed by the tractor. The other four actually got destroyed when the roof came down. Um, and ended up landing on the east wall and just broke some of the trusses. The trusses were repairable, however we felt more comfortable not putting the same trusses back up with animals going to be living in the building. We wanted it to be as safe as possible. So our neighbor helped take everything down and then we moved all the materials to his place where he's going to build a hay barn with it and then we bought new materials to build the barn again. You're going to see the build. It's going to be in probably three or four videos to show the complete build because we're not going to drag it out. So thank you for tagging along. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a blessed week. And you can even share it with your friends. And if you have any questions, comment down below. And if you like the channel, subscribe to the channel. Finally. Adios. Adios.